Well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Dames. Uh, no questions for the author. Uh, simply a few comments about the status of the conference committee report. And the process, and first of all, let me thank Senator Dames and uh, the Senate conferees and Leader Lopez Franzen, Leader uh, Miller, for working in earnest and with diligence late into the night last night to get this arranged in a shape where we can vote on it today. Uh, this bill, once passed today, really will hold down premiums for people in the individual market across Minnesota uh, and, you know, shelter them from that uh, significant economic bump uh, to their situation uh, as these rates come due in October, and that's a good thing. The two provisions surrounding policy that were brought forward by the House are good and will directly improve the lives of my patients, uh, so I'm grateful for those as well. Uh, it's uh, important to say, though, as we always do when this comes up, um, that this is not a solution to what ails us with health care in Minnesota. Uh, this is not anything more than what we knew it was five years ago when we first passed it, which is a financial instrument uh, to correct a market instability. It does nothing to improve health care outcomes for patients. It doesn't make our com care more compassionate. It doesn't lower co-pays or deductibles for people. It does not control drug prices, except in the setting of that one situation in the policies. And these are all things that Minnesotans are urgently asking us to accomplish. Uh, once again, uh, we have brought forward proposals over the years uh, to try to solve those concerns. We've brought forward the public option. We've brought forward the Minnesota Health Plan. Uh, this year, understanding that our Republican colleagues are not receptive to those proposals, uh, we brought forward a uh, proposal for tax credits to accomplish direct relief of premiums as well as co-pays and deductibles for Minnesotans. These are things that people are demanding and we should work actively during the three years that we are paying for this reinsurance to accomplish those ends. Um, there are alternate delivery uh, and incentive models out there, such as value-based care, and I hope we spend our time diligently looking at those as well. Uh, I will be voting for the bill today because it's the right thing to do for co-pays uh, and deductibles, excuse me, it's the right thing to do for premiums for Minnesotans. Uh, it is not a solution, and we can do much better. Thank you, members.